Okay, I'm here with Will Reese. Will, how are you? Doing just fine. How are you doing? Doing well. So can you tell me what it is you do at Rackspace? All right, so uh, I'm actually the uh, dev manager uh, and the system architect for a product that we call Cloud Files. Uh, essentially a distributed uh, object storage or blob storage system, uh, if you will. And so today, we're here at the Design Center at the Omni Hotel. You're, you've got another role that you're, that you're taking on. Yes, yeah, so I'm the uh, project lead for uh, what we're calling OpenStack Storage, uh, which is essentially we're taking the Cloud Files product uh, at Rackspace, and we are completely open sourcing uh, the entire thing. And so by the time people see this video, it will be the first chunk that's, that we have. There's the service side as well, but yours is the first part that goes out. That's correct. This is an entirely, uh, you should be able to install it um, uh, you know, in a matter of uh, a few minutes. We've got some docs out there to help with that. Uh, Documentation is a work in progress, but uh, you should be able to use this system uh, right away. So if somebody wanted to, to go out and check out the code, where should they go? Uh, so we'll have a, uh, on launchpad.net, uh, we'll have uh, the open st uh, stack. Um, software suite there, and there are two projects under that, one for compute, uh, which is called, uh, I believe, Ozone on there, although there's some talk about maybe possibly changing the name here shortly. And there's another project called Swift, which is just an internal code name that we used for uh, the object storage system. And so NASA is, is a partner with you in this. Do they play in on the storage side? Uh, actually, uh, so the way this, this happened was uh, we were in talks with NASA, and NASA actually had a... Uh, uh, a, a solution on the compute side that we were interested in. Uh, we recently went uh, through and did a redesign on the storage side, and uh, they were very interested in this. Uh, normally, because uh, it handled the scale that, that they were after, uh, whereas other solutions that they had evaluated uh, could not. So it, it was basically a good partnership with NASA to be able to uh, to join forces with them and and, and do this cloud uh, compute and storage offering, which we're calling OpenStack. And as far as governance goes, are you going to have a technical board separate from the server technical board, or will there be one? Yeah, so the goal with this is for Rackspace to, um, uh, you know, we're going to take charge and lead this project only to, only to get a community kickstart. The goal here is that uh, this, this project, uh, OpenStack project basically gets a life of its own and is completely community driven. Of course, Rackspace products will consume this just like you would a lamp stack or anything else. Um, but we don't want to, you know, this is not... Uh, Rackspace products open source per se. We're just kind of kicking things off. And so how, will you, how do you become a committer for this project and who decides what code goes in and, and goes out or stays out? Well, uh, to be honest, a lot of that is still being worked out. Um, they're going to have some of that in messaging. Um, there is uh, a governance board where there will be some uh, uh, business uh, people in there from different companies to talk about requirements and stuff, but th these projects should be driven by technical people. Uh, so I'll be the lead on there. There will be a technical board. There will be some uh, mem members from our side on Rackspace. There will be some members from the NASA side. Um, and then there will also be members, hopefully, from other, other people in the community that are willing to contribute and put forth some resources on the project. Um, and then all those people will determine uh, what makes it into the project and, and steering the project. So, I'm sorry, is this a separate board from the is a server and storage separate board? Or, or? Yes, we will have, uh, I believe, a technical board per... Um, so the OpenStack is kind of an umbrella project, and, and we hope to actually have future products coming out uh, and, um, to add to this. So right now we're starting with compute and storage. Um, so we will actually have a technical board for each each product. They're actually very large domains. It's, it's tough for anyone to know all of these domains. So you, you really need uh, good, solid technical guidance on, on both products. And, and just at a high level, can you go through the architecture of the, of the cloud files and what you're, what you're planning on uh, designing? Okay, so... Uh, it's a tough one. Uh, for those that want more information than which we'll get in this podcast, uh, I am giving a talk at uh, OSCON next week um, on Wednesday, the 21st. Um, but basically, what, what we've done is, uh, you know, we, we start off with a traditional uh, model where we essentially stored metadata for the system in a database. We had web servers, we had back-end job servers. We scaled that up, you know, vertical in the database. We um, turned the fat in the DBs. It, it scaled that up for a long time, but uh, just... Looking at where we were and where we needed to be with the scale, it just was clear that we needed to rethink uh, the design. So we kind of went back to the drawing board and, and, and thought about what we were trying to do. You know, we need to be able to read and write objects in the system, and we need to be able to list objects in the system, which are two kind of fundamentally different problems. But And what we did was we built very simple servers that handled just uh, that functionality, and then we kind of tied them together in a, in a, in a memcache client kind of style where we have these simple servers and then an intelligent client that ties everything together and kind of implements the distributed concepts. And then it, it being a pretty powerful concept that allowed us to build a system that scales horizontally at, at each layer. Uh, it's written pretty much entirely in Python. We use some, um, uh, we deploy on Linux. 
Um, you know, we use uh, SQL Live and RSync in, in our architecture, and the whole thing is uh, we have event-driven servers, and we use Eventlet, uh, which is a pretty cool networking library on the Python side. So. And does this leverage anything from either Drizzle or Cassandra, or no? Uh, so we have uh, you know the Cassandra te team was is there at Rackspace, and we did. Um, the original idea was kind of, we had a lot of problems with the database scaling that, so let's look at using a you know, distributed uh, key value store potentially as, as a way of solving those problems. And kind of what we realized was there was, that introduced some, some unique problems um, in and of itself. Um, uh, you need multiple, multiple keys pointing to the same values for different purposes and not having atomic commits across that made things difficult. And then when we kind of thought more about the problem, that did solve some of our database problems, but it didn't, uh, we had another pro a bunch of other problems, scaling out the jobs, um, how we distribute the, the data across all the uh, the disks and other things, and it just it, that just it, it just didn't quite feel right. So we continued to think about the problem, and what we ended up doing was basically borrowing concepts from um, solutions like Memcache and some of these distributed key value stores out there, and just cherry picking the ideas that we really needed just for the storage system, and implemented those ourselves. And it ended up being, you know, it was kind of a we didn't know how this would turn out, but as we got through and built it, and, and we had the luxury of building this out on multi-million dollar clusters uh, as our test clusters and stuff, and, and, and of course all the previous knowledge, um, our knowledge from the previous system that we had learned, uh, a lot more what not to do kind of stuff. But um, so we were able to um, to use all knowledge and build a, a system that we're very very happy with. So excellent. Well, Will Reese, thank you so much. Thank you.